Welcome, welcome. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. You know where I Oh no, they on the wall for the I I hate to walk on the wall. Hey, we got 
what? You will be living life here. Let us go to live the day there. This could be the day. Yes. Michelle you know, somebody, a personal trainer. Oh, he, well, he would have to love his doctor, he had his own with my life. Shortly before Thanksgiving, she didn't attend the family. I would show up. They sent them away. So the gentleman is from the night We had no indication of yeah, what to cause your death. And in the process of dying, most folks tend to...
My name is uh, Dr. Sajobi. Um, we have our brother, our friend, and more importantly, the APC chairman in Imo State visiting us here in the US. Uh, he's going to be the note, uh, keynote speaker for the occasion. So we are here today to give him the reception to welcome him so that um, at least when he gets home uh, he will explain to people to our people that yes uh, when he came to America that uh, you know his people did welcome him okay thank you very much sir standing by my left hand side is uh, the Honorable Chief Dr. Hilary Eke, the APC Chairman Imo State, uh, who is visiting us here in USA. And uh, we are pleased to have him around. And, uh, you know, standing by his left hand side also is my 
uncle. In fact, we see him as our father here. That's High Chief Matt Obi, the Obi Wanne of Ezinihite, and Ugumba one of Mbise. Then we have our own brother too, uh, Mike Arongwa. He's one of us also here, and also he's uh, one of the uh, eighth grade member of uh, Honorable uh, Chief uh, Hilary Eke. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, yes, uh, for now, you know. Okay. Yes. 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 Look at what's happening now. You can you can assist now. All the schools have now known that they have For the past two three months, they have no And this is what they are How are you? Yeah, only when they get behind now, they have no more. They have no more.
Um, you know, I find when somebody in our midst who is very important, she's not going to come to us. no walks from a far distance here to Michigan City and Nanya. Um, before me, me introduce in Nanya. Oh, and oh, uh, a very accomplished man, and uh, the, even when the list of uh, so introducing properly, he has a lot of experience. So I will introduce him properly. Um, so tonight we have in our midst uh, uh, Chief uh, Honorable Hilary uh, Eke. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about him. He was a special assistant to Asini the local government on business and economic development. He was also a local government chairman of Asini Hite. He was also a state chairman Action Alliance. He was a senior special advisor to the governor on political matters. He was the director general of Imo State Artisans Development Authority and New City Development. He was also the chairman agenda Imo State and currently is also the chairman of APC in Imo State. Be there and your talk, no, no, here with us tonight. And here we a open discussion. I need a game when you know, who he may know, no, and not talking to you for any old, but for that, you know, we are good at that. So, with that, Vico, I am turn you over to one of our own, um, our high chief, Ugumbi Se. So we'll make you at least one or two comments before I ask further. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Mm. 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 My mother is from Anambra. Where's Oni? Where's Oni? Where's Oni? Mwani? Zoni? Bailani? Well, I've got no Hatch it, Hatch it, Abian, Oh, <laughs> 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 That is Imo State, Chairman Political Party, who the ruling party, Abia, Ebre, Siabia Huani. I mean, I'm going to ask 
government ya re rula ya ka ogle so anu rula ya ka so um what it e ka nsa ge eh iwo yi mu e wo yi mu eh eh jo e wo le wa bi wo la Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm a global. I'm not I'm global. Come here. Uh, 
Oh yeah, 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 Thank you. Cha 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 Ndi we mari kelen. Ndi di mari me me kelen. Awo Michael. Oye kachi aro ngwa. Awo ma ko. Onye mo ni amu ezi. E bo emiri ezi do. Ma ko. Amu na no ka na Michigan Daniel, i one nine working in Nigeria, Sekobia. Mm -hmm. And the Hemku be able to them back because they went one or two questions and got like <laughs> Because I am uh, Chief Doctor Okechuku Unog. And then they were able to get them because how I look in all look in all look. And not only that, they were able to get them Chief Doctor Okechuku Unog. And then they were able to get them because how I look in all look in all look. And not only that, Chief Omeka Flunanya. And I saw Nande, I went one night in America, I went like 80 cents in Nigeria. Are you serious? Beautiful. Omu Mawu, chairman, chief executive, Vision Drug Impacts. And we so many registered products in Nigeria by NAVDAC. So he got a school road, nowhere. He got even in the use here. He got a bang or wood dump because I be doing on an abdak before I put our America. So I like one that Naipu should not in any way mean I be dissociated from our privileges. Thank you. Yes, I am a god, god, I go and now I'm on your home. And now come the ex chairman of this association of Michigan. And I have one, and we have one. So my girl look one day So I was him on Yezum. So I was touching.
I'm I'm the founder father of Mbise, known as Michigan. I ask him to find the grand honorable daughter. The quotation is, I'm going to do a boy and enjoy it. You know, I can get a door and don't say, I'm not going to be a Michigan. Ibo, Birin, Ibo, Chian, Ibo Zon, Biko, Omuna, no Muna, Nana Madonia. I am chief Peter Clever, Nebu, Amonia Muriomans. Nebai Chinim, Oshimra, Comuni One, Pamuriomans. Muin Java. I am uh, President Emeritus okay. of Odalo Province, uh, now Michigan, and Ohio. Uh, I, I, I come here today as a humble individual, mm -hmm. and, and we welcome our brother. One nine work, honorable. No. Okay, I him. Welcome. And we also, uh, one nine work, Chief Sir, Joby, Doctor. Oh God, I was looking around to see what I do it By the grace of God, the only woman here. Oh, <laughs> 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 but then when I'm this is from where I did. This one of them where I why is not the only one though. Even the honorable himself. Even our easy Dr. Hilary. For him to be easy and Dr. Hilary. Okay, we laugh less shall we tongue. We'll have one all over. I have both chief Linus, Alex Aharoka, Onyangwa, or Mafu. I had somebody here. Aroba. By some kind of news, it's no Mafu. What you know, Aro? Get your hand off. No Mafu. Let me thank Sajo before this call. And of course, I know the call I got here the possible without Kumba Kubise, Moko Biyama. So we don't have the problem. 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 I'm saying this because I'm not going to be here too long. Because it's in my final line. I'm going to be here too long. 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 Somebody in the final committee, Kevin, but some people really well like. We don't do Africa here, we do America. And this is American time. 
three, four o'clock, and then this. Ibo galat. Hey, where's the lady? My daughter. Oh God, they're gonna like you, my loco. Ira nyaka. Iki jira nyaka tani wuwa ono piam piam. Rasha yon ngwa 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 ngwa. Even my honourable chairman, our lord, the time that I remember, see a light production there. I've got a lot of time for a lot of time. But to us, like the Eba Edru, I am going to be a piam 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 piam. It does not matter. Let me repeat. Because when they bull and you, they won't tell that chatter. From the introduction, from the introduction, focus introduction. Ibokele. If you be say, Mama, Mama, I go gala. If you be get your boy, no, you get your love. They hold up this one, like let this man no turn up. I go get him. Oh my God! But I can't hear today. Our argument is that my brother said the mama no dey live any argument here, but Tunde Anyinchi they expected to come from here. That get me sure lo. Nga support like you no dey. The only and the only Umaka guy. I'm from Umaka and I'm proud of it. Don't forget about Otono. Otono is a cause of the vision. Otono is a man who never hurt anyone. So forget about Otono. Give back a moto now. No, we're not going to be in a double. Nobody knows about two bullets. But this is not a good mark. Oh, but I didn't interrupt you when you were talking. So I'm on your mark. Oh, oh, Suji, thank you and welcome to America. Okay, then, Munu. Um, the car, all the car, I know more I give a comment for this because maybe you're going to be the last person. No, you got to be the last person. I am right, right, honorable chief Charles Obama. You're going to be the last person, Chief Ugonna. On this, on your happen and you are just a rank. I be a bar. It's so far I do because so many things, different culture, culture. I know you make a imati in America. So I was born in America. So I make a loan of land. The guy is not a matter. Chairman, Malano, state party chairman. Most of you not here. I'm gonna do nothing. If you don't know it, you don't know it. And our, our government blame because if you're not in the system, you're not in the system. So. Kind of what I'm saying, whether it's true or not. Let me tell you, when the church was building the house of God in government house, because if you were before, if you get just in the Monday Muslim, because the only church in the government house was Muslim. The church had to build a chapel for God. When he was building it, the PDP led government were abusing the internet, telling the whole world that he was building a mosque. Eh? But the building is there, you can go there and know whether it is a, a chapel or a mosque. And let me tell you again, the report of man, I said it when I was addressing you, the report of man is not the best report, but the, the report of God about me and you is better. Anybody can say anything about you, it's not important, but what is important is what is the report of God about you. There is no, like now, before I left Nigeria, the governor has set up committees to privatize any land. The governor is moving all the motor parks in the town to the suburbs. If you are coming from Gopala, you don't, those boxes don't need to come to the town. They will stop, there will be a park around Nazi. If you are coming from Bise and Omaya, there will be a park around the Buru. They cannot enter the city with a, a taxi. 
the same thing from Oki where you stop around Dodgy, from Olu you start around, you stop around Apakuma, and so on and so forth. Now, the government is going to privatize these parks. <coughs> you see, that part is on. Call somebody and find out if the government is privatizing motor parks in Imo State. You build and develop it and control it. The same thing with the markets. Oh no, there are so many markets in Imo State. Not only in Olu, but in Olu. If you go to the relief market, you see more than three to four, five thousand lock up shops. And now, what people leave street trading, go and occupy these shops. No payment for now. Still, the government has decided to privatize it. If you're interested, even that a low market, if you want to take half of it, come and take it. Come and take it. People are not even ready to take it. Because not everybody can afford to do that. Let me tell you, it is not true. Because it is just last week, the uh, announcement for privatization of that Olu market started. <coughs> Nobody has been given a shop there to well, we're talk of one person taking 50%. All these things are political propaganda. You know what it is? Uh, last month, if you come to where now, you will see that so many illegal structures have been dismantled to give him a, a prestigious look. look. That is why in Imo now we have partitioned Imo over into 38 <coughs> zones. Somebody will be in charge of cleaning of that zone. The government will only manage it for 10 months. Government will cut all the grown grasses, cut it away, clean the place, and make hand it to a contract over to a contractor. Like here now, when I came here yesterday, I asked them who caused this guy. They said they are the one doing it. If you don't, the government gave me a letter. Maybe the day you know the region on the 15th, I will hand over the letter to you people. You will read the letter from the governor of your state. Wishing you well. And when I go, you can also write to me. You write to the law governor through me. Make one or two requests. Even demand <laughs> that you want to send delegates to come and see what the government is doing in Imo State. Those in, those in history yeah, did it. And I was there the day the governor brought our vehicles to take them round. Thank you. The old roads I used to have before, we just grade that the road. Call a lady, you know, at least you're meant to go to that one. And then Margarita in their houses. Mm -hmm. Why we're waiting for the better roads? Now, because. Let, let, let me tell you again. You see, governor is one person. Yes, okay. Like I said, I was a local government chairman of my local okay. government. And somebody was local government chairman of our local government. Is that or not? Is that or not? The governor cannot be everywhere. I also know that immediately we took over as local government chairman, the governor released 200 million to every local government chairman. They started working with this uh, money. Few weeks after, PDP led government went to court, injunction is threatening the those local government chairman from operating. Some of this money has been paid out to contractors. But from my own local government, I didn't pay any contractor. I transferred that money back to state account. Because if PDP missed that money, they will eat it. And I want to tell you, challenge, I will say it anywhere, that in my local government, where I come from, if I mention how many billion that came to that local government, that can never Nobody can point at something over it. It's painful. Maybe some of you here will think you are not concerned. It concerns you. That's why I say you have a right to ask. Like as I'm requesting that when I leave, give me a letter, re replying the governor's letter to you. And make a request. One or two, three requests. 
including coming to Nigeria to see and assess the present government. And I'm sure you'll be glad that you have a listened government. Can I get a I'm not from Imbo State. I'm from Abia State, of course. And all I'm hearing is Imbo State, Imbo State. But I am coming in as a guest. Not a guest, man. Um, well, it used to be Imbo and Abia. But be it as it may, I'm a guest now. And the, still Imbo and Abia. The other is the name believe that I see some level of honesty in this gentleman. To be very honest with you, Mr. Clever will tell you, I was, if you want for Joby, Moko Bioma, and of course Peter Clever, who agreed to come to my house to take me, I wasn't going to come here. I closed my chapter on anybody coming from Nigeria as a politician to talk to us. Many of you know that I've posted them over and over back in the day when it was about all time. And that's why I keep saying I have paid my dues, whether you like it or not, Omar has paid his dues. We used to host them, we used to accommodate them, but I stopped doing it. But I'm glad I'm here. This gentleman come across an honest, an honest, a very respectable boy from my friend, man that is here to help our people and our economy. Based on that, I say, <coughs> as an outsider, a king is not recognized in his own land. Over here in the Bible, I won't know my church, but I'm a godly man. Book of book of Matthew. No, keep for saying you feel it. Chapter seven. I will grab father, father here. Keep for saying you feel it. The black. I want that he will from my state where I come from. You will always go to embrace Richard or wherever he is. You will even want to kiss the feet. If at the ball trade, you'll kiss it because the guy up the closest to us. I just saw who was the governor and the cross him. And you know, even from Abia State, you will know that this guy, oh man, she says some people are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have it trusted upon them. I think that Rochas, I'm going to so much for them. The more people, my good friends have argued with them, may not recognize it. But as in, if you are from outside, you will know that this guy has accomplished in no small measure the lot. You know? My brother, welcome home. This is a home. You will never know. I'm home oriented. I'm going to Nigeria after tomorrow. I love my village tomorrow anyway. I'm glad you came across the way you come. I'm married my more brothers and sisters. Listen to this gentleman. Listen to this gentleman. Roaches. I don't even know at all. I pack a call. pack. Whatever it's called. Whatever the states, yeah, BDP, APC, APC, uh, APC whatever it's, I don't even care about that. But I'm not care about the individuals. This guy, Roaches, they may call an input to leave for a legacy. No way, but around our own area, in most states, up your states, and I'm not going to leave. Because the bottom line is without much ado, the bottom line is that I was itching to get out of this place so fast. But because this man came across the people, he supported the out to help our people. I see him, I see him, I see him, and everybody the testimony coming from where I'm there. What we're about to is who is leaving the legacy? And you're seeing you guys say the Lego. But go in not here, the Lego. But what we have to do, if you eat 25%, listen to me, my honor, it is only 25%. We are good with you, you are good with our one. Where the rest, look, go. Out for these poor masses and roaches have done that. Even over from the beginning, 
I was surprised. I was called myself, not just states. It was less a person. I don't know if just states, but or or you get much. I don't know the United States that are horrible. My brothers are some dog go and I thank God they did. You thank God? Yes. Jesus Christ. I'm not going on there. That's what I want. Ibo Kelen, Mon, Zon, Bien. Nigerian friend, listen, listen, please. Three questions and dog. You compromise you to one second. Have 90 seconds. Oh, yeah, 90 seconds. That is to answer, to ask the question. Our honorable, number one is Nigerian friend, please. Number two, Nigerian friend, please. Number three, Nigerian friend, please. Number four, Nigerian friend, please. Number five, Nigerian friend, please. Number six, Nigerian friend, please. Number seven, Nigerian friend, please. Number eight, Nigerian friend, please. Number nine, Nigerian friend, please. Number ten, Nigerian friend, please. Number eleven, Nigerian friend, please. Number twelve, Nigerian friend, please. Number thirteen, Nigerian friend, please. Mm -hmm. Number three, why is the money not being released to the local governments as it used to be before? Thank you, sir. That's an example of what we are looking for. Yeah. Very simple. And I also answer you, it's very simple. Okay. Samuelson is a legal issue. Um, I don't have competent to talk about that. Good. If you have case, the law courts are there to look it into your matter. Why money is not reduced to local government? I have one or two reasons. One, what you can say is that money is not given to somebody. Not that money is not released to local government. Because if a local government allocation in a month is, let's say, for example, one million naira. And you give it to one man called the local government chairman. Then at the end of the month, that local government chairman will tell you that that one million naira, he has used it to pay salaries to workers. Now, state government, because it's a government that has ears, a government that is determined to deliver. Then they ask you, how can you use this amount to pay only salaries? This is because this is what the man meant, what he inherited from the previous government. That any money that comes to this local government can never be used for any infrastructural development. It is it will be spent on what they call recurrent expenditure, which will not give any value to any local government. For example, in Imo State, from 2007. 2008, 2009, 2010, the amount of $6 billion was spent in government house for wedding as government house entertainment. So is it not alarming? Now, the government said no. I will not release this money to this local government chairman for him to continue to do the same old way. Local government, what are your immediate needs? When I said hospital, primary schools, roads, and so on and so forth. That is why today I said, challenge me. If there's any local, I said my own local government is designated. We have 12 wards. Today, 12 modern primary schools is standing there, upstairs. A befitting referral hospital of international standard is there. And I want to tell you the thousands of students in Ezinite, which the governor bought two, two uniforms, school sandals, school canvas, school bags, school chairs. The records are there. All of us here have traditional rulers. Find out because the governor established what we call community government, which we are trying to deal with directly. And the governor started by giving every community in Imo State, 670 autonomous communities, one one million. In our game, there were another 300,000, what we call a call anko, which is a project to do, because the governor is saying that if we can go back to the farm, we don't need this oil again. And we are believing that in the next two, three years, Imo State can be another Malaysia as far as palm oil is concerned. That is a project. If that is why, if you said, Belizim, I want to tell you that the amount of money government has put in local government 
is greater than their location. And I want to also let you know that every governor used to have what they call security vote of between 3 to 4 billion naira. And I want to tell you that the government of Imo State, the government of Rocha Chokorocha, has invested this in personal security vote is a money you put into your pocket and walk away with it. You don't account for it. But find out that Ole Rocha Chokorocha, the people's governor, has put in this money into education. If you go to this Imo State University today, Mbakwe in the, the permanent site of Imo State University in Mbisa between Mbi and Dongo Bana. How many years? Over 30 <coughs> years ago. But go there today and see what the governor is doing there. Because he wants to relocate the school back to the permanent site. So it's not an issue. It's almost the same thing. Thank you. Big up. Big up. I have two questions. Um, Eight to uh, 12 years ago, I was appointed as a special assistant to Odile, who happened to be your in law. Okay, uh, was my best friend. We went to school and we cultural association. Even though I've been excuse me, the second one is good too. Uh, even though I've been defeated from that, the uh -huh. question is, I never, uh, excuse me, I never reported for duty. <laughs> My question here is, how can we resolve that? Excuse me, how can we resolve that where we have fixed teachers, employees? That work, work, I, made, I made millions from the Nigerian government, but never won. My second question is, is it true that these allocations coming to local government, especially Imo State, Abombi, where I come from, is it true that a fraction of it is actually going to the governor or the governor's wife? That's my question. I, I, I wanted to talk about this money that goes to local government, where they spend the whole money, 100%, on recurrent. It was when I <coughs> went to Rome House that I saw that there are some drinks people, some of you drink here, they call Don Prayon. <laughs> eh? Yes. If you see some receipts, and the number of Don Prayon the governor takes as the governor of the state, that money is enough to develop one local government to standard. Well, let me tell you which governor the past or the present no, 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 previous no, no, government. No, no, no. The records are there. Even if Rochas if Rochas leaves tomorrow, whatever he did, you will see it there. Because all these monies will be accounted. For. But some of previous government, what they were doing was retiring of money now reached. Look at government, you said their money goes to workers. Are, if I tell you that some of you will be shocked if you publish your name as a, somebody receiving salary at various local government, right. you'll be shocked. I know of somebody from my own community who is based in the USA here. When I was local government chairman, I now did staff audit to see that over 500 people were being paid salary. Goes to work. Yes, goes to work. <laughs> Unknown to you, somebody will put your name, and they will be taking this money. So when the lawyers came, we did the, the audit to know who are. Then we reduced salary of workers by almost fifty percent. Now, somebody tell you that the governor's wife is taking fifty percent of local government money on what subhead <laughs> because you would say if you spend one million naira of government you will write what you have used it for but well, let me tell you the governor's wife the office is unconstitutional the, of, the office of the wife of president or this yeah i you on number nine it's more or less a charity 
Mm. But I want to tell you that the governor's wife built 270 buildings for indigent widows in Nimo State. Find out. That's true. That's true. That's true. 270 three bedroom flats furnished, equipped for 270 indigent widows in Nimo State. That's why I say human beings will forget so soon. That it has never happened before. And this morning, and this morning was free donation. Free donation. He, he will call, she will call people now, commissioners, SKs, BAs, and say this is the uh, program. They will begin to donate money. And she will use it with her own money and we start with local government by local government. Any local government you call, tell me, I will tell you where you go and see these buildings. You find out if it is true or not. Even in Ahazu, when we finish the, the, the building, we discover that the woman <coughs> is not a widow. <laughs> 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 So, my brother, it is not true. <laughs> this rumor is a rumor from our unfriendly friends, our political opponents, who think oh. they can achieve something by being negative. That same person is saying that the governor is building a mosque. He's saying that Rochas is a Muslim. <coughs> he's saying that he's a book. He's saying that he's about talking about roundabout, building a roundabout. Okay, oh, you said so. You yes, said it. Yes. You said what about I said what is the economic value, value of, of a roundabout? When people are driving like crazy. For example, the importance of a roundabout. If you have visited uh, over there for some time now, you know where they call warehouse. Yes. Where, where, where we built this IICC, Imo International Conference Center, yeah. which is the biggest conference center in Nigeria today. Yes. Find out what I'm saying. And that roundabout there, there was used to be a church, a, a, a Pentecostal church, a very big church. The government had to pull down that building of that church. It relocated them somewhere else and made a, made a very big roundabout there. Today, that place is now, before if you come there, you spend 30 minutes, go slow. But today, you just, that is the importance of a roundabout. Thank you. Where can you one. One. Honorable. I don't want to EMGC, I don't want to change the Juga Juju is like I'm asking myself a question. I just want to use this opportunity to chip in one thing or two. Langembi Ibona, La Michigan. Ndi Ibo. Ndi Ibo. In Nigeria and in the diaspora did not impress a piece. Anything you could get. Eba, you know, you be very careful. Don't be surprised tomorrow you go back to Nigeria and see those things on the internet. It doesn't matter. I know. Why I am saying this is because Ndibo in Nigeria and in diaspora did not embrace APC. And the one thing I want each and every one of us to know is to listen carefully. Buroku, one or two, see other potter. Is either we start changing our mind to succeed in Nigeria, or we remain where we are. We are captives in Nigeria. 
is either will change our mind, particularly in America. I've been here for three years, and I think I've done well. And God knows too well, within the little time now here to monitor what is going on, Akulepu, may you a witness. I told you, I analyze and give you future occurrence or future what is to come before he appear in politics. And my say this is what is going to happen. And at the same time, it happened. Even including people that left here to go the illegal election, but how what is going to be obtained before Hannah Gabo, they thought I'm lying. I am a politician. I have held a public office. I've been elected into office. Okay. So now, as what? As what? As a chief. Chief, I'm a chief. Now, chief, I'm with the community. No, no, no. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have to say is this. Um, I think went home for a day, and the, the last five years have seen a great improvement in our state, you must state. By the way, from the single home government, I'm on yet. Right? So, um, there are a lot of changes in a positive way, you must state. So, the current government is doing very, very well. Prior to that, I uh, was frequenting, frequenting home as well. But then, our government fell into the hands of aristocratic elites. And that was very, very absurd to see. Seeing what I'm seeing today, I will say, hip, 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 hooray for the just government. Because, when my attorney, I was going to get one attack and I got a attack. <laughs> so, yes, because what, what happens here is that for some for some reason, some of us tend to be obliged, tend to be very side blinded by the facts that is on ground. If you go to a word today, you see the difference. The difference is there. Okay? If you go to a lot of the lot, uh, the other my, my other friend was talking about. Although today is better than it is today than it was six years ago. I was at Olo this is June. I was at Olo last June. Okay? Okay, so, so, okay about lots of you, right? To see the reality on the ground. And uh, except many years ago, when I was a kid, there was nothing like a free education in New York State. But it had been happening the last few years. Okay? If you go to the village in New York State and talk to the women, talk to the little kids at home, you will get the facts, how the government, how well the government is doing. So, more views to your able. Right. My question is, um, although you have pointed out that um, I can wear like steady light now, but my question is why it has continued to be a nightmare in the state and in Nigeria in general. And um, I don't know what whether you know what the authorities are saying as what are the legal that development. The other question is why why is it that there is no regulation in I mean in Imo State either whether even in election you know or even in business there is no regulation if if you talk about how people for instance, renting a house, and uh, I see that a lot of times the landlord will do what they like, and the tenant again will do what they like because there is no regulation. And uh, I'm wondering when you start doing that. And again, the 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 demographic nature of the state, and uh, why the like if you compare Olu zone and Owere zone, you can see that if you look, if you look at the demographic demographic nature of the state, Olu zone will continue to produce, you know, the governors because well because of the you know they, they have no no they have, yeah so can you address all these issues?
um, you see, regulation of rent by tenants, by landlords. You see, I'm glad that today you may be shocked that a three bedroom flat in Owere and a three bedroom flat in Abuja, the gap is not much. In Abuja, a three bedroom flat will cost about 1.5 million annually. Renting or renting? Renting. Jesus Christ. Renting. Yes. As are today. And in Imo State, you know, where in particular, if you see an old three bedroom flat, which under normal circumstances, nobody would like to rent it, the least you can get it is. 450,000 per annum. But if you see a standard flat, you can be talking of 850 to 1 million per annum. So, what it means is that Owere is developing fast. It's developing fast. Properties are appreciating. A plot of land in Owere, some areas used to be maybe 120,000. To 250,000 today, some go for 8 million. Wow. You have some plus in a way at 30 million, That's true. you have some at 40 million, depends on the area. So, that is why I am requesting that there is need for you people to come after me and make demands, especially as it concerns the diaspora village, which the governor has made available for people like you. So, that issue of rent, the government don't want to look at it now. They, we want people to start coming. Do whatever you want to do and make your money. But when the place is fully developed, you cannot talk of regulation. Because you can't regulate somebody's property when you are not adding anything to it. You don't help the person to build your house. But if the place is properly developed, and the owner of the house may have recouped his money. You can now see a wolf trying to say, oh yeah, come down small. But saying that Olo, by the uh, demography, let me borrow your word, or by population, or by political arrangement, however you want to take it, it is not true. Because in statistics, politics is a game of number. Absolutely. I want to tell you that by INEC registration, the 12 local government in Onuzun will have five, approximately 500,000 voters. The 12 local government there. While the six local government in Okibwe zone has 200,000 voters, that is 700,000 voters. While Owe has 700 and something thousand voters, Owe can decide to keep this power forever if they wish to, by population and by voting power. But it is not done like that. People vote according to their hard desires. Apart from rigging, which was introduced by our predecessors, where people who cast their votes in your favor, and at the end of the day, the result will come in another person's favor. But if we are realistic and honest about it, people will look at you and vote you. After all, you know what a zone, if you deduct the vote of what a zone from what Rochas got to become governor of Limo State, he will lose. He will lose. Today, people in Abia State go to that place to do their shopping. Ah. Instead of going to Ohafia, where they relocated their Omaya market. So, people are looking at individuals to cast their votes. So, if it is that, I want to tell you that even more people, over a zone people, looked at Rochas saying that this man, who has been issued, has been training people on free education to talk of when he's a governor. So they gave him ma massive vote. 
I'm from this. Eh? My own brother, a making head of a contested governorship of Imo State. And we told him that this is not, it's not a game of, it's not zoning. It's not zoning. Leadership is not born, done by zoning. After all, now we have voted Buhari in against Jonathan. And I stand here to challenge Jonathan as a, a president of Nigeria for six solid years. Let Jonathan point at me one round table or one chair. He did for Imo State people. Call quickly again. I'm gonna say if good intention of there. Um, I didn't want all the development. Why the hindrance is with corruption? Because if the politicians live by their means, they will use a Kenya and you say, Great measure, but a great measure. So, in the politician, you will connect to you now. So, in that process, I think development. Now, I want to something you mentioned. It's a kidnappers. My Roger said, I'll stop with it. You can start planning to stop corruption so that other, other states can follow that. Because I'm on the plan in the most statement to stop corruption. Like Rogers, as a governor, by right, he doesn't supposed to be spending money by himself. I think he will delegate it to people so that they will have book record of how they spend money so that whenever the money Oh, as well, okay. So when money comes, if you give me 10,000... Are you advising us? Are you asking me at all? No, I'm, I'm, I'm both advice and they ask okay. you questions. So that I will so, know how to record it. Yeah, yeah so that uh, when, when you give me 10,000 and they ask me how I spend it, I will give you the how I spend that 10,000. So, but to actually see Imo, not in, Imo State not in front line of fighting corruption. So that other other states will emulate you, and you can do it. That's okay. what. Uh, okay. Yeah, I would say what about uh, my CV or my. You see the processes I've gone in politics. I've been a local government chairman. Not only a local government chairman, I was an Agon chairman. Let me inform you. My predecessors, who were Agon chairmen, before me. If you are an Agon chairman, depending on your state, for example, I have a friend who is the local government chairman of Kanu. He has 44 local government in Kanu. What it means is that that Agon chairman has 22 million as his allowance as Agon chairman from that state because each state is statutory. Each local government in your state will give you 500,000 naira every month. So if you have 44 local government, you have 22 million. I have 27 local government. I have 13.5 million. And so on and so forth. Previously, this were money, people's money. This position as Agon Chairman takes. But I want to tell you, if I'm lying, may not be well with my entire family. I didn't take a dime. I didn't take a dime. So you can imagine the sacrifice of somebody losing 13.5 million, I mean 13 million monthly for the period I was there. You can see it's a huge sacrifice. One hundred something million. And if a governor, and I mentioned here that a governor lost his five billion naira security vote to the people because the total allocation of Imo State is between four five billion. With salary alone, uh, uh, the current uh, is not even enough with ghost workers. <laughs> so it's unfortunate. But I want to let some of us know because it has become the intent when you say you're a politician. Like my brother from Mumba say you will not give me food because I'm a politician. <laughs> so that is what I'm suffering now. Because you should have given me a, a bottle of Coke if I'm not a politician. But it doesn't matter. What is important is that one day she will be on record that some people came and brought this change. Like Buhari is doing now, PDP is still in government. 
because those working in Asura, some of them, 90% of them, you remember. You know, they brought it to the seat there as the president. They brought a bill of 400 million naira to buy his official car, which he turned down and said he will use that car the last time he used. And that's what he's using. <laughs> I will have a follow up question uh, later in private. We need to have our road to be from because I got go here. Number two, this is a diaspora village. Can do tiny one with your neighbor? Can she benefit from that village? What process do we follow? We to go to what is the protocol? Okay. I mean, I'm a colonel. I'm doing it. You know, JB can make a line and say, Where that is for a village. Oh, yeah, poor. Carania, I get it. Manotai just survived. That's all. Yeah. Thank you. Roads. That is the problem we had because credible human beings who could have been into politics allowed politics for refresh, non entities. Whereby you see a motor packed out is a local government, chairman of a local government. You see. And nobody, because of Godfatherism, only they are snagging motor. A may local government chairman or may commissioner, he has nothing to offer. It's a very big problem. Even the people among themselves are not educated like most of you here. Eighty percent of people in the village are my They are only interested in a Jollof rice ready for consumption. They don't even know that they have right to ask. For example, if you know from Afobe, Bugan, Nafobe, to make when on it, as you do, I'm more man to choke on it. See, we are all in cross Roymo River to Mwa. That road was given out at 4.2 billion. Now, can any of you find out if you go to federal government records, that road has been fully dualized, constructed. Then if you ask a making anyone who has been in the federal house for 12 years, they will put a road that this road is bad, federal government will approve the money, they divide that money, another four years they will bring that money back. I want to tell you that this road, from my investigation, has been done by federal government at 4.2 billion. But I want to tell you that the only thing that has been done in that road is one about a kilometer of gutter. Goshin Anamon, the Adi present here, <laughs> documented a photograph like this. My brother is doing a present that our work is going on, and this money has been collected. And this person is not a thief, but only as you have said, I could be a while as a thief. Now, from my hand, Junction, Tungo Pala, go there, there is a dead trap. Mm. Over two billion has been sunk there by federal government between Kisanya and the Moki Hedon. You're welcome. We are here, you put it on one year. I go to the filling station here because on a harbor kidnappers. Then in the recent news now, I'm an egg in a vampire. Yes. And I was trying a vampire operational base 
Now one of the biggest hotels, no longer. Right? Yeah. And that hotel, oh, the political one of the political juggernauts of APC, was that hotel. And now, just number, our bus and job remote state. Immediately up to Shiri, my airport over there. Nda bi bombi sa ga ke ga record. Record ak na me pa ni ki me ni ba ni o. Na ji. Ye wa na. Na ji si ge biko. Ye na emri ye ben emri onyu maka. Double. Ak gas station. Ak ri kura ndi ka na me be bi factory. Okay. Ai na ji si here the, in the air now is a very controversial issue. I took my break in there. Uh, every one of you work for the Basanjo. I got a couple of years, this APC, Juggernaut, and they are operational. And they are going to be a vampire. Because of them, they can join the Tutu in Kelowna. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to go here. Hey, big hello, where are you? You're from Ivory Coast. Mm? And they have a of pressure on the Abu Dhabi Airline. Only one girl, local government. And the uh, only army. They did kill the land also. I could not go mad. Bruna Moto. The army man would drive. I have this uh, spirit of a spirit of the car. A broom mad. Back with it. But luck ran against them this time around because he got him to stay today. We got it, you. He and Bega know. I would they kidnap a long ago. I mean, a farmland. Because I can tell him more hard work and hope like this. Leave them the mad now. You will lose your land. You will lose the land. When you want, ah, lacking on there, you will lose it. <laughs> you can get it. Because when you turn your monama, you see it. When you move be, you be a hamecha. When you be a do be a ten times a day. If I'm going to go out there, when the umwa ka be a buru, le umbo no la kuba he buri ure rongu, do be a he go chaya. The man after that hungu. Is he here? All told the demo state like kidnapping. Money and no no equal high no no. So, but for security reasons, let me tell you. Oh no, 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 because the, the announcement in the radio know your neighbor. Because if the American are amongst us, I see only equal here. Actually, I will get that touch on him who is his guest. We are not spirit. I want to thank this man. So when they come say, "Me go out there, me be angry." That is the policy. No going back. After all, when you are corrupt, you are not mad. Are you on your party? Are you on your board? Oh, you mo. But all the time, all the time, you are just just no longer. By government, government is bad here. You have exonerated yourself. So, I want to say that APC government will bring the desired change. We will. The, we are taking time. Don't be surprised if nobody will become Minister for Petroleum. Nobody. A son of Joseph the Carpenter can become a minister. Don't be surprised tomorrow you hear that the man that spoke to you last time is now a minister. So that is 
what we are going to do. I know that if you are in Nigeria today, you read some of the newspapers, you see that our political opponents are still doing their propaganda of whether we are going to survive or not. Before I left Nigeria on, the, on Friday, I addressed the press. If somebody comes to your house and steal in the night, in the morning, you'll be the first person to come and say, ah, what happened? What happened? Is there a common thing? Some states are owing workers. It's not because they don't want to pay, it's because there's no fund. APC inherited an empty pot. And between now, May and this period, we have been able to save this amount of money. It's an evidence that Nigeria is a rich country. Yes. And I want to assure you that we have identified the way all these bonnies are. Yes. Look at our immediate past governor, Mahakim. Went and withdrew 270 million to buy a property in Asokore in Abuja. <laughs> Unknown to him that that money, which he has saved, that is not in his name, that the government is signed to know the owner of that account. You know they are very stupid. Mm -hmm. Immediately he went there and took 200 and said, that we have known that he don't know the main money. I don't know what I'm communicating. Yeah, yes, yes. Very well. Now, that 270 million is a peanut compared with the amount in that account. Oh. Then we trace that money to him and to where he bought the hand. If you had what if you I mean, really? come yeah. and you yeah. know that the court looked at the matter and also gave him a bill of 200 and 70 million for that particular case. Yeah. Yeah. So they, 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 they are shameless. They are shameless. They are shameless. Many of them will go to jail. To come and talk about Nigeria. That is our home. And as we age, some of us retire and we go home. And we leave the younger ones here and our children. So it's very, very important that we ask your questions today and what you are saying. I have the um, very, very happy to welcome the APC chairman from Imo State. In the past, we have been dealing with your... Um, our governor has performed very well. For your interest, every year, this man comes here, if he doesn't come in person, he brings his commissioner of uh, information and he shows this is what was there before and this is what it is now. And he has done this for several projects he has done. And uh, our people are very happy about what his performance. If you go to water, you will see it. I've just retired. I went to Nigeria. I stayed two months. I am back. And I'm very, very proud of what he has done under APC. I'm a I was involved in the war. I fought as a brave man. And I know no disrespect. Where are we going? Are we moving forward? Are we moving backwards? We want to move forward. Where there is competition, there will be, where there is no competition, there will be no progress. PDP has been there for some time. Let's give another party a chance to do something. I will keep quick under four room. I give you quick work because in India could be very, very important. You know when we question Nigel and Abalia that I'm going to write down. So anybody who has a question, I ask Abalia. Therefore, I'll do that to me. I compile lawyer. We may have another session with Chief before I allow her. Thank you very much and God bless. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But I'm not a but I am not a man. 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 I um, I 
I want to say that will be the motor. No, no, the moon no, no. Take care, somebody, you know, say. We need him to from you people. We want anything be serious. All that. I feel um, that there is need. Makanandi Ibo say, only Jio Koko get a little bit ahead. Okay, now I talk here, I made a cook expand. Now I got another two pounds. The cook of cook of man. When I was out, so they press it, when I walk, cook of get to ya. They can do the cake, you see. When a bird decides to perch on a rope, that bird must be prepared to dance. When I walk up on one room, you are lady, you are lady, I saw what I did, but I got away. That is APC government. Like I told some people today, that also when a person decides to stand in a forest for sure to take over leadership of Nigeria today, there's a hand of God in it. Absolutely. Is it wealth? If Yahweh we can't get it. Yahweh contact and connection, that means the police, I we can't get it. But only that God wants to make this change because of the prayers of the Dantrodon, the Palakawas, the less privileged, the widows, the motherless orphans in our midst. They have been crying for a long time. Our youth, some people will graduate 10 years without a job. No, you go to university after 10 years. That's my whole grandma there and chair. That's why you see some of them. Have you heard any Naga? Keke. Politicians used to say, hard on poor. It's unfortunate. But my brothers, we are assured that there is going to be a tremendous change in Nigeria that wherever I will be proud to say I'm a Nigerian. Yes, yes, yes. 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 I'm standing over my chin and apple when you know that in my home. I say, what do you remember? So, very soon, a Nigerian will be respected anyway or not. Because we are the richest country in the world by the amenities God gave to us. Gas, gas, who all in Nigeria today can feed us on tap. So, when I can learn, switch to go June. I guess if we one or two songs, I get in a chinake kele. But today, because none of us planned it, God is the planner. Monyo do you say so? There's nothing you can achieve without God. So, what can I do? I'm the manager. I'm going to be carrying my paper in the morning. I'm going to be a So, I'm going to be a man. I'm going to be a man. I'm going to be a man. I got your eye. Man, Jozo, Ganochi, Nagorum, Puru, Bi, Akoro, O, Tua, Kai, Gesina, O, Lo, Wankala, Nane, O, Luai, Kage, Ji, Cheta, Ai, Po, La, Gu, Ku, Aza, La, Yo, when they shows or came the mono, all again, Namazalamo. God bless you.